fix here. Happy New Year for you. So today is the 1st of January and yes, I have to do this video. I keep all the time just saying I'm doing tomorrow, I'm doing tomorrow, I'm doing tomorrow and then never done it. So I will do it today. This has to be finished today. So this is a video about a Ford model uh, Mark V, uh, how to change the wing mirror. Uh, I don't see any videos up there. Probably you got from Ford Fusion. It's similar. Uh, yeah, it's similar. It's the same, the same door and everything. It should be actually probably close, exactly the the model. Uh, so what I will do today, so I will show you how to change the mirror, and the reason is why I'm changing the mirror. Well, uh, my ex, uh, I think is the uh, my ex boyfriend, uh, just deciding one night came in here and parked his car next to mine almost. Uh, came to my car, banged the mirror, so I stand up, I saw him to re reverse things, so I recognized the car. Uh, I don't know why he did that, that's a little bit odd, because I don't know him, never spoke to him. Uh, what I know is quite bad things about him, because she told me she knew him, she was dating him before. Um, so anyway, just just f fast forward. So is this asshole in here, I will show you his picture. Uh, so you can visit his Facebook, or, and then say hello from me because he blocked me straight away when I text him about the mirror anyway it doesn't matter so yes so I will fit this mirror this mirror actually is very expensive I paid I will show you so I paid in total with the paint 768 pounds for that so that's a complete mirror so this was all painted you can see fresh paint that's very expensive. I believe it's because of this stuff in here. Then you got the blind spot in here. You got lots of things in here. So it's a quite heavy mirror as well. Um, yes. So the thing is I will show you when I will take my old one off. If you see my car, so I will show you in the next video. You don't notice everything. No, everything. You don't notice nothing. So you will look like the mirror looks okay. To me but it's not so if i get very close so when he kicked the mirror the only thing he broke it was the surrounding uh, around the mirror so what i was doing i was collecting the pieces from the floor and then i put back uh like if a soldering iron so i put back and this one piece missing because i didn't find it was raining in that night so it probably got gone on a drain and then i put all together and it's fine sense so it's working fine the folding option is closing and open everything is fine but the thing is, I was having sometimes on a motorway a wind noise before this asshole did that. Um, after he did that, and I put the mirror all together, the noise disappeared. I don't heard the noise anymore. That's a little bit strange, but I knew it was something wrong with that mirror in the first place. So what I did now, so I just bought a new one and I said, okay, so I just fit that and job done, done, you know, and I can keep another one as spare. And why this mirror is so expensive? So if you call to Ford, if you got a car like this, if you call to Ford, special if you got a car with this feature, hot, a blind spot and stuff like that. Uh, blind spot is when you got a car next to you, so it's a light turns on to say to you, you can't turn to that lane because there's a car next to you. And then when you go past the car, the light goes off and then you are safe to turn. So it's basically how it works. Some people know that and other people don't know. So I'm explaining now. Um, if you go to Ford, they sell this all in pieces. So it means the glass is about almost 300 quid because it's a quite thick glass. Then you have to buy the motor separate. Then you have to buy another bracket, I don't know for what. Then you have to buy the light, go under the mirror when you lock the car, you can see a light shining on the floor. Then you have to buy the cover. Then you have to buy the motor to go inside to turn the mirror so you can move the mirror position, you know, from inside the car. So it's about probably six, seven parts. So they all separated, you know. So you just have to say, I want a complete mirror. Then they go through and then they will get the parts for you. That's why it's so expensive. So the paint I paid 30 quid for a friend of mine. He did the job for me. So that was very helpful. If you see this video, thanks for that. Thanks, thanks for that. Uh, appreciate it. And he did a good job anyway. Uh, yes, so what I have to do now, like you can see the weather is a little bit crap, uh, even my cat don't go out. My cat is like, hello, Coco. Um, yeah, even he don't go out now. Um, last night, actually, I have a, a good night with my neighbors, so we joined all together. We were drinking and bonfire. It was lovely. So 
if my neighbors will see the video, thanks for the invite. It was a very good night and I enjoy it. Very nice people. I have the best neighbors in the world. They, they, they are very good people. And yes, so let's go now to see how this mirror goes in. And it should be quite easy. Half an hour I reckon you can do this job. But of course if you never, you never did before, take your time, don't rush. Because especially with the plastics on the door, uh, you have to be very careful to take it off. Otherwise you can break clips, you can do lots of mess and then you have to, to spend more money on it. In more parts to, to replace and you don't will be happy about that are you? So yes, so let's see now. How this goes so stay there right so let's replace this wing mirror um, so we will use some tools like that so you just have to be careful for don't scratch the, the plastic and you can use a little bit of paper so let's try now to take this one here off this taps on the top so it goes that way and this taps locks in place so on this hiding um, 10 mil screw screw a bolt I mean no screw uh, yes so now we have to try and remove this one here Just be careful so you don't mark the plastic like I did a bit. Oh well. It's a little bit tricky to do that, I'll tell you what, I think this is the worst part. But so far everything is okay, so I didn't break anything. So that's another bolt in here, I don't know which one it is. A very small one. Probably be the six. One six. It's quite loose. It's not four either. So it's five and a half. Can use the six in here. It's a little bit cold, so I will try this. Do this quite quick. I think this is a seven, seven mil on the bottom. Not sure, but let me see. Yes, it 
this. So you got two seven mil under under here. Looks like it will rain. That would be hilarious. Okay, so all these screws is out. So you got two screws in here, one in the top and two in the bottom. So this now we have to, to pry off. Of course this never been opened before. That will be tight. So I will try. Let's see if I can pull this. very gentle now this should be easy to, to pull it There you go. Well, don't forget to disconnect here the, the wires on the top. The speakers, for the light. And disconnect here the door thing. I just have to see how to do it. I need to figure out how this works. <laughs> wow, well, that shouldn't jump to my face, but yeah, looks like I do have to open a bit and then it slides off. That's ridiculous. So the, the mirror bolt I think is behind of this. Oh dear, that's a bad design. Yes, I'm just scratching here. Well, this is how it is when you take the things for the first time. So at least we'll be done today, so I don't have to worry about this. Box goes in here. Yes, yeah, so you got tape in here to get to the bolt, and then what's that? This is where the motor lives, and I got a connector in there. Oh my god! So it looks like I have to take the speaker out again as well. <laughs> Nothing today will come off easy.
Mm. There we go. So difficult. Right. So is the connector inside? The connector should be outside, but I don't know why it's inside. We'll find out in a minute why. Why for the data design like that? I'll do rain in a minute. I'll do hilarious if we do. Yeah, that's the thing. One top broken, but hey. Yes, yeah, so now you got easy. Not easy. You can get even to the connector. Oh, bugger. How did I get to the connector again? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's no way you can get to the connector. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but if I show you... Uh, so that's the thing, so the connector lives in there, see? So there's not much space, even from through the speaker, you don't have much space in this. To, to see what I will do here. Just hope you can see right. There you go. Right, so. Oh my god. How do you get there? go I managed to disconnect it happy days it's tricky if you got a sister or something if very small hands that probably will help you so yeah so now I need to get to this behind this tape Unbelievable. yeah one there Zoom is another one here. Yeah, so we'll show you. So you got two 10 mil nuts in there. I don't know if you can see this bearing in there. So if you're taking apart, you can see better. Just try to do this quick, otherwise I will have a problem if the rain. So I believe this will be a 10 mil. Yes. Just have to be careful but don't drop now. And this one in here will go down. I will drop this one. Oh, I didn't. That's a mirror. Let's pick up the new one now.
use this a little bit because a little bit of paint came out from the corner. show you what I did so this will prevent them the rust so here in the bottom was a little bit shipped so just try to give it the best clean you can in here and then just fit the mirror should be all right yeah I got trains in here behind my house so you probably will hear some in a minute the brand new mirror look at that never use it right so now will be tricky because I have to put this nut in if I'll drop it so the top tip in here is to use a little bit of paper and and just put the nut like that so you should hold well, it's not perfect, but you should hold at least a little bit for for you be able to put this screen in. it so now we can put another nut in and we'll try it for paper that's it easy easy just make sure it's tight Just I was checking the other side to see the gap if it's exactly the same and it is so I'm happy with this. So just can put this all back. Looks like nobody was here before. Of course somebody was here because I can put this fact black factory. Tell me what this is tricky in here, so get a plan B. Get somebody if a very thin hands. No, I need that. Ah, there you go. So it clicks in place. I don't have to worry about this now. Okay. Lost my seven. Just lost my seven. Just 
Tell you what, this is a bad design. Ford should do this in another way. Like the old one there was, it was quite easy. You don't need to take this whole thing apart to get to the to the mirror. Okay, so speaker. I broke a tap, but it doesn't matter. Still plays. Just want to see if it's not inside. It will make a noise on the door. Ah, doesn't matter. Just a small bit. Don't make a difference, does it? Make sure you tighten all the bolts, screws, or whatever you call this. I just want to see this asshole to come here break the mirror again. Got a surprise for him. A big surprise. Surprise, Cindy. There you go, plug. And now this cover here. Of course, that's important. Cool, that should be all. I think we can put the door card. Um, what's happening here? One of them, the clip did break. And even I don't know what it is. Looks like it's inside the door. Which will take this little bit just to check inside. Check inside if the clip is there. I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. So, like you, like you heard. So, I need to take the speaker again out because this will make noises, and I don't want noises in the door. That will be a little bit. If the vibration of the engine, you you will hear that. So, I need to take this off. I can go through the speaker. Yeah, sometimes this these things happen, so I'm not hiding nothing. Hope you can see. It. I'm not hiding nothing, so you see exactly what you will go through. That's a piece of plastic. This will rattle inside the car. I'm happy with that. So this this is things happen, you know. So always something will break. This never nobody take this apart before. It's a 2015 car, so up the door card and put all back together. So what I was doing is just remove this the broken clip from there from the bottom and take off from here. So I got two clips here on the top and one in the bottom and it should hold the 
the only place. Right, let's see. Yeah, seven. Look at that. Right, so don't forget to connect the speaker, the brown connector. You got some wires in here. So plug everything. LED one. Yeah, this car got some light on the thing here. Uh, that's it. Uh, where is this one in here? This one is from the. Yeah, it's from the. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now what you can do is just hang in here on the top like that. And yeah, the holes are not aligned. So what you can do in here is just press in, like you can see. Now we will put what is left, the screws or the bolts, whatever you want to call. So that one goes on the top here. Yeah, everything's still working. Over tightening, you can break something. So now you got some bolts in here. One is small, one is bigger. To be honest to you, yeah, this one is the top one, this one is the smaller. So, yeah, that one is from here. So, the smaller one is from the top, uh, it's the five and a half mil, and uh, that one is seven. Oh, six, I mean, sorry. Uh, we'll, bo we'll go on the bottom. <laughs> They're not six, are they? They're seven. Apologize. So the seven goes on the bottom, and the five and a half goes on the top. The ten goes on the handle. Oh, I still have the closest for one. And the last piece, ah, that's amazing, four wires, you can do all these controls, isn't it? <laughs> Technology on these days, amazing. Right, so this now, let's see, because I was taking this wrong before, taking this wrong before so it looks like you have to take from here not from here that's why it was very tight uh, there you go so this part in here you can take off the way I did but it will be a little bit tight here against the plastic and I don't think you can see much because the phone is turning so what I was talking about here, you can take out from here like I did, but it looks like from here on this part, if you can get a screwdriver or a hook and lift on this part, it will come out easier. But I will prefer probably did exactly the same I did, so you don't will risk break, break nothing in here, yeah? This, well, people got, do their things in different ways, isn't it? And the last piece. Because it's a little bit like you can see, it's, it's moving a bit, but that's the way it is. 
Uh, that's it. So let's see now if the new mirror works. So you have to test it. Put this old stuff away. Grab the car keys. So yeah, let's try it out. So ignition so now we need to control the the mirror yeah he's moving that's good look at that just I need to put away I'm driving otherwise I can see much I have to clean the mirror it's a little bit dirty but that's it I'm happy with that let's see if he close yeah folding is working that's good. Cool. Yes. So I think the job is done. So the new mirror is in place. So do just do exactly like I did. Uh, of course, this bit here is very tricky to take it off. So just be careful. And if I can show you. Uh, is no marks. Uh, it looks all okay. Uh, yeah, just take your time doing this. So yeah, this lid is all okay as well. All good. So yes, I'm happy with the results. Uh, okay, so let's come back in a minute to finalize the video. Okay, guys. So yes, this will be the the last part of this uh, video. Uh, so I will show you here what that uh, asshole or prick did broke uh, on this mirror. So I will put the pictures attached how the mirror was uh, when it did break it. Uh, like you can see, so I glue all together. Like you can see, you can see the marks. I'm inside the house, but I think you can see it. You can see. So yeah, the only piece was missing I didn't find was this piece on the corner here. But other than that, everything was working perfect. So the mirror was working, everything was working how it should. The hot spot, the blind spot was working, everything, even the folding, everything. So what I will do in this mirror here is um, I will get this surround, uh, surrounding plastic. It cost 30 quid on eBay. And I will keep this as spare uh, because we never know, you know, sometimes can happen, you go on a wall, you can break the mirror by mistake, well, we never know. Oh, even if I know somebody who needs a mirror, I can sell this mirror for probably Andrew quid uh, after put this, uh, this surrounding here. And yes, that's it, because the paintwork is very good, it's not scratched whatsoever. And when you kick it, of course, everything, yeah, this is a little bit wet because I'm on the floor. Uh, when you kick it, um, he, everything goes apart, you know. Um, the mirror was twisted to the other side, the cover was on the floor, and all the bits was missing. So I will put the pictures in here. So I will show you the pictures now. So this is the pictures, even the police talk, uh, if them. Uh, so like you can see, uh, how is the mirror. Uh, oh well, but it wasn't strong enough to broke a Mondeo mirror, because the only thing it broke was this plastic. Everything, even the glass. The police were surprised the glass was like that. It wasn't broken. So, yes, I, I, I did have a chance to go inside the car and drive behind him and, and catch him. But the reality is everything in here, the, the mirror was hanging by wires, uh, everything here inside. So I didn't bother. Uh, but yes, I tell you what, I'm very surprised if these mirrors, they are quite strong mirrors. I'm very surprised at that. So, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm tr I did try to go quick as possible to show you how to change the mirror. So it's all details in there. Um, I was a little bit quiet outside because it's cold and I want to do this quicker. And like like you see, it's a little bit peak job, special that connector inside, but it's manageable. But you probably, if you got a sister or a girlfriend with very thin hands, she probably can help you out because my hand is quite big for this kind of stuff. And so, yes, that's the only shoe I saw there and nothing else. It should be a straightforward job. Um, so yes, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, like if you don't if you like the video, and leave your comment as well. So if you have any questions about cars repairs, please leave a comment below. So stay tuned for more videos. Yes, Diesel? Bye.